Friday Night Blitz. Sponsored by Whataburger. Just like you like it. Donovan! Let's go! We good? Water? Let's go. Hey, big cover now. Big cover. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Big one. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Head coach Tim Krause is right. Night full of district championship games, including one at the Bulls School with his Bishop Kenny Crusaders trying to win two in a row over the Bulldogs. Welcome to the Thursday Night Blitz. Brent Martin along with Stuart Weber. Oh, the Georgia Week's always fun. It is. You know, twice, twice the games. You get two nights of it, and we get to bring them all to you here on the Blitz. And this year, our game of the week, Bishop Kenny and Bulls, falling on the Thursday night. So let's check it out. The Game of the Week, sponsored by Whataburger. And it is Bowles looking to avenge last year's loss to Bishop Kenny and claim the Class 2M District 2 crown. Crusaders in an early 14-0 hole. James Reeser up top. Caleb Lampkins over the defender. Comes down with it. Touchdown Bishop Kenny. Down by just seven. We go to the second half. Crusaders come out with some momentum. Julian DeWeese fighting his way Ooh. inside the five. He punched it in two plays later. They got within six in the second half. Could they pull the upset again? Well, Here's a quick answer for you. DJ Moore right back in stride to Neem Burrows, and he'll take off towards the end zone. Bulls able to re-extend their lead. Get a nice little cushion. Crusaders. Watch this, Weber. Trying to recapture it. Oh, my goodness. Just reaches up and grabs it. Trent Carter, one-handed pick. Bulldogs score, and they kept scoring. How about that? 52 to 18, a convincing win. Here's Marcel Robinson with the quarterback of the Bulldogs, DJ Moore. Coming off that loss last year, these teams are, are very, very talkative in ways where they can brag. So I like, I like to take that feeling away from them the way they can't do it. We did that tonight. It seemed like you guys had an answer for every one of their answers. You know, they, they got the game within six points, and you guys just kind of took off. You know, yes, defense and offense, man. Just, you know, what was the mentality? Was there any thought or any talk about, you know, what happened last year, or was it just coming out here with a point to prove? We, we don't really care about last year's game. That was last year we made mistakes, and we, we cleaned them up, changed the whole offense this year, came out of execute. Talk to me about, you know, you got nine burrows. Sir, that's a dream. One plus one is two. That's what we are. I mean, he does crazy stuff. I, I just try to get a ball to him, make him make, let him make a play. You know, obviously, like Toblin said, you guys got more work to do. You know, it's got to be great though to to have a performance like this to be able to carry it on through uh, the next few weeks, right? Yes, sir. I mean, playing like this, I think it motivates me to get better. I, this isn't the best I've ever played. This isn't the best time I'm gonna be. So I'm just using this to motivate me to play better next week. By the way, yeah, the cap was a cold out there tonight. Got a little cold out there. Looked like for style DJ. Style thing, man. Yeah. You got hat hair after wearing it. It's got way more style time. than us. DJ uh, put on a show along with both huge fourth quarter. And next stop, our final one. Weber. Yeah, Ponte Vedra Creekside. Two teams from St. John's County. Should be a lot of fun next week. All right, let's head to the shipyard. First Coast hosting Fletcher in a district championship game. And this was awesome. Third quarter, bucks up 14-0. LaShawn Evans Jr. with the pitch and takes it, well, all the way to the house, extends the lead. 21 zip, the Bucks on their way to a championship, but wait, down 14 with under five minutes left. Fletcher scored, so now down eight. First Coast says third down, the ball bounces off the receiver into the hands of Ivan Delu takes it inside the 10 yard line with just over two minutes to play. Senders now on third and inches. Marcellus Tate with the QB sneak. Breaks the plane. It's 21 19. They would get the two point conversion and we're going to overtime. They came all the way back. Fletcher gets the ball first. Trevor Bryan gets the handoff. The ball's fumbled, but they call it a touchdown. Said he broke the plane first. Debatable, but hey, they counted it. 27-21 because Fletcher missed the extra point. Third down now for the Bucks. Austin Harris gets the handoff and gets in there. It's a tie game at 27, and it all comes down to the kicker. Lenoris Linder did it. District championship on the line. They would later carry him off the field and parade him around a bit. Good for that young man. Bucks are the district champions. Head coach Marty Lee, he came back for a moment like this. What a hell of a football game. I forgot how you folks to say that, but it's a great two high school football teams. I have a lot of respect and love for Fletcher and, and Seatric and Joe Reynolds, and they done beat me eight years in a row. You know, and uh, for us uh, to get into the playoffs, we had to win this game. And uh, it was an outstanding ball game, and, you know, I can't say enough about our team. It's, I'm just excited. This is a great way to go home. I'm going to go see my nephew play tomorrow. What a great game, baby. It's awesome.
<laughs> he is so uh, awesome. He's the, some of the greatest sound bites of all time from Marty Lee and a heck of a win tonight. The best. All right, Jackson Reigns for the 2M1 title. Vikings defense pitched a first half shutout. Jason Farfan into the backfield for the sack there. After the break, the offense for the Reigns Vikings just keeps rolling. Mark Miller up the middle, bouncing over some tacklers across the end zone. That's his third touchdown of the game. Then one more for the Vikings, Raquez Bacon. This made it 40 to nothing. Vikings exacting revenge from a year ago. They reclaimed the district 40 to eight. We worked really hard in the spring and in the summertime to get to where we are right now. Um, you know, it's been an up and down season for us, close games. And, you know, we just want to tell the kids to just keep working, keep fighting. Uh, you know, good things are going to happen if you do that. Uh, we, want, we want to come out to go 2-0 in the district. Uh, we knew our, what our mindset needed to be. They was going to come out, you know, with a lot of energy, uh, a lot of enthusiasm. So we just had to play range football and execute. And we got another big night on Friday. Trinity Providence should be good for the title. Palatka Bradford also for a championship. And Ponte Vedra with a win clinches 4-S4. Hey, still to come, a chance to play spoiler at the woodshed for Sandalwood. More games from across the area next. We're the Bulldogs, Bulldogs and you're watching Friday Night Blitz. Coach of the Week, sponsored by Whataburger. And the check for $1,500 for the athletic program from Jaguars Prep and our sponsors with Whataburger go to the Bulls Bulldogs and head coach Matt Toblin always one to hand it off to the players and uh, and let them enjoy the recognition. Look at them just creeping into the background, getting out <laughs> Get of there as quick there. as they can. A uh, good win for Bulls tonight. After a rough start to the season, they yeah. finish in style here tonight. Welcome back to the show, a Thursday edition of the Blitz. We have more games to get to. Don't forget, whole nother Blitz on Friday night, 11-15, with a new crop of games. But let's get back to this one. Let's do it. How about it? A win, and Mandarin takes their district title. Sandalwood, well, they got a chance to play spoiler, but the Mustangs came in with the right mindset. First possession for the visitors. Tiant White Ooh, does what nice he's done move. all year long, getting to the end zone. Two-point conversion makes it eight zip. I guess they don't kick extra points, they told me. <laughs> then the FSU to Alabama connection starts to heat up. Oh. Tramel Jones under center for Mandarin, hits a cross, and Jamie French for the touchdown doubles the lead. Now, keep your eyes on this one. Ball goes off one receiver's hands, in the French's, one stiff arm, gets to the edge, another stiff arm, and he's in for six. He's going to Alabama. Yeah, Did I mention good. that? Yeah, he's good. Mandarin's good. They win 43 to nothing, district champs. Creekside Atlantic Coast and uh, these Stingray fans haven't stopped believing, even facing a 23 to nothing deficit early in the second half. Defense trying to make a play. Demarcus Jones steps in front of the pass for the Stingrays. Turnover, but no points on the drive or the game. And, well, I guess we got there a little bit late. We did. Yeah. I'll show a lot of Creekside highlights throughout the year. Creekside goes on to win behind a very good defensive effort. They get the shutout, 26 to nothing. Because we stayed for more highlights at this one. No love <laughs> loss for the Braves and Terry Parker. A little snub there on the, the fist bump. As they visit Engel with Ty Keister over the middle. Anthony Brown behind the defense. 30-yard touchdown, 7-0 Rams. They were going for their sixth win of the year. Early second quarter, Braves ball. Tony Kennedy, Jr., Hands it off to Jeffrey Brown, breaks tackles all route to the end zone, cuts the lead to 7-6. Next, Terry Parker drive. Kennedy Jr. giving it to Santroy Wilson, who makes a cut. Shimmy's past the defense before taking flight into the end zone for the Braves, making it 12-7. to Two good handoffs there. Yeah, nobody nice gives more love to Terry, quarterbacks hitting the ball off in the Friday night. Terry points. Parker <laughs> goes on to win over Angle. Their first victory of the year, by the way. Congrats to Terry Parker, 24-14. Yeah, coach, first win. Very good. Wilson Wolfpack hosting the Episcopal Eagles on Powers at first quarter. Darius Turner gets loose. And, oh, boy, he's behind everybody. Deep in Eagles territory before being brought down. How to lead to a field goal. Eagles respond with a touchdown. Turner Glenn, it's Jake Melagrana. On the short underneath route, John's untouched into the end zone. It's 7-3 as we close the first quarter. Pistol goes on to win 34-12. to All right, still to come, we'll crown our latest player of the week and take a look at tonight's top highlight. That's coming up next. We are the Bishop Kenny Crusaders, and this is a Friday Night Blitz. The Player of the Week, sponsored by Whataburger. Congrats to Cartavian Valentine from Palatka. Two touchdowns last week, including a long score to start the second half. 
Yeah, send your candidates now to sports at actionnewsjacks.com for tonight, but we'll also get some candidates for tomorrow, and we'll have another vote for the player of the week. That will go up Saturday morning, by the way, and you can vote until Monday at midnight. All right, we go to our play of the week. You just saw it a moment ago. Tramel Jones to Jamie French, the concentration to get it off the deflection and take it into the end zone. What a play. One of two first quarter touchdowns for that combination, and you see it again. Falls right to you, little move, little stiff arm, and away he went. Have a ton of talent on that Mandarin offense, especially, but defense too can it mean a long road through the state playoffs. We will find out soon enough yeah, for the Mandarin. Be exciting! Hey, we're doing this all over again tomorrow. We've got another 11:15 show. We certainly hope you join us for that one. Some big district championship games. But we leave you now with our band of the week from the Jackson Tigers. Thanks so much for watching the Thursday Night Blitz. Have a good night. Action Sports Jacks Friday Night Blitz, sponsored by Whataburger, just like you like it. On Friday nights, the hits keep coming. You go right, I go left, put it work, trip and sweat, ain't even half time yet. The passion contagious. Check the score, yeah, we did them, they ain't even know it. The highlights explosive. They wanna get like me, you better turn this thing up a couple hundred. Action Sports Jacks Friday Night Blitz. Friday at 10.30 on Fox 30. Sponsored by Whataburger. Just like you like it. Oh